Welcome to our newest feature demonstration video for Excel Map Unity. In this video, we'll show you the latest addition to our Excel Map integration into Unity 3D. This feature allows to map terrain textures to nav mesh surfaces and thus enable better flexibility and realism for pathfinding on terrains. In this project, we have a medium sized terrain with some paths in a hilly landscape that contains some trees and is surrounded by a wall of mountains. Just for your convenience, here you can see the exact properties of the terrain resolution, width and height. So let's zoom back in. Here we can see a red capsule which represents the player and the cyan capsule that represents the target position to reach. The terrain itself consists of four different materials. We add now the exact map navmesh surface component and see that this component contains all the above textures as configurable surface types instead of one surface type representing the whole terrain. Before we use these new features, we demonstrate how the enough mesh would look without. To do so, we open the exact map configuration window and slightly adjust the enough mesh build settings. Since our terrain is relatively large, we turn off the automatic settings and increase the sampling cube size to 0.3, sector size to 64 and max edge length to 128. Then we start generating the nav mesh. After the build has finished, we see that our entire map is covered with a blue transparent default surface that represents the nav mesh. There's also some unwanted nav mesh in the mountains and, as we see when we zoom in, on top of the trees. To get rid of these, we add a move component to the player, build the nav mesh again and the nav mesh on the trees is gone as well as in the outskirts of the map. Now it's time to get the player moving by adding a follow entity behavior. We assign the target capsule to the target object property of the follow behavior. To visualize the path, we enable the show path property of the exact move component, disable the show nav mesh property for better visibility and hit play to start the game. As you can see, the red capsule has found a path to the target position and starts walking, but completely ignoring the intended path which is not desirable. So we stop the game, re-enable the nav mesh visibility and finally use the new features provided by the integration. To do so, we reselect the terrain and in the nav mesh surface component, we switch to the edit view. We have already added a new surface type here called Easy and give it a light green color. We switch back to the selection view and set the surface type of our path texture to Easy. Then we select our player capsule to have a look at the surface type factors which are set to 1 which is the default for all surfaces. Now we build again the nav mesh and after it has finished we see that our paths are now displayed in the light green color that we have configured for the surface type easy which itself has been assigned to our path texture. The last thing to do is to alter the cost for walking on the default surface type to let's say 10. To speed the movement up we also increase max speed to 8 and start the game again. Finally, everything works as expected 
and our player capsule prefers to stay on the path. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.